Okay, so this video is just a quickie on what I have in my RV toolkit. Um, when we first bought this thing, obviously it didn't come with a lot of tools. It didn't come with hardly any tools, and the ones it did come with were kind of crummy. Uh, so this is what I've added or created over the three years we've had it to help ourselves out. The first thing I got is a roll of four inch Eternabond tape. Uh, this is handy. If you ever have a problem with the roof or anything that's leaking, this will seal it up temporarily or permanently, depending on how you want to do it. And that's what you do. I've also got a tube of Dicor and a sealant gun, which I don't think I have here. It's in one of my compartments. But this is an 18 inch breaker bar or 24 inch breaker bar that I picked up to help me get the wheels off. And I have the right sockets for that in here. This is an actual, you know, speedy uh, tool with a three quarter inch socket on it so I can put down the big 7,000 pound jacks that I put under this thing to stabilize it because the factory, the one that came with that was crap. It would lower them to the ground, but you could not put any force on it to jack this thing up off of the axles to really keep it stable uh, without twisting the end off. So that I had that in the toolbox. I don't think I ever used it. So here it is in here. Another thing I carry, lubricant for my equalizer. Use this every couple of times that I have it out. Keeps all of those joints happy. Oop, don't spill them. Self-tapping screws. These things are good for almost anything. Uh, I found a spot underneath when I was just checking on things the other day where they had missed one of the nails holding the under the underbody covering on into the frame. So I pulled the nail out so it wouldn't do anything, replaced it with a quick self-tapper, done. This is a pill bottle, but it's every single fastener I've ever removed from this coach externally internally when i took all of the window treatments off this is all of the factory screws so if i ever need to replace one or i want to add one i've still got all of the factory stuff a couple of drywall screws that i'll probably never use but they came with something hose gaskets of all sorts a couple of dollars at the box store but if your hoses ever crap out you lose a gasket poof you got them just random clamp tools. I found this on the road years ago, but it's the perfect size for that square on the top of a four inch threaded PVC cap that you need to take off in case you're ever at a place that has those for the sewage. Just grabs on, spins it right off, no issues. Set of screwdrivers, regular, Phillips, other, big, small, you name it. They're all in there because you need them from time to time. I don't remember what that was from, but I kept it. Phillips and flathead screwdriver, individual tool. This thing is probably one of the more interesting tools that I've procured for this. This, if we can do it, is the correct tool for crimping the PEX fittings in your water system. Because I had some that leaked from the factory. That wasn't cheap, but it's nice to have. These are some additional washers I can use with my equalizer hitch in case I want to make any adjustments. Random spring I found on the ground. And now we're inside. Zip ties. Don't leave home without them. A few extra parts. This is a latch for the bedroom doors, the closet doors. I had to replace one of them. I bought two. Now I have two. I have an extra. Coleman Mach controller. I had replaced both of the units in this coach with electronic ones. I had one of the electronic ones fail, so I had to go back with the other one. But 
Now I carry this one just in case the other electronic one fails. This is a small multimeter, just in case I have to do electrical troubleshooting. Very, very inexpensive, but it's got a bunch of stuff in there. It's fantastic. Here's my tool for the tires and the wheel lug nuts. Pipe tape, just in case. All sorts of different shark bite fittings. Tees, clamps, cutter, because you never know when you got to do emergency plumbing. Few lights for the trailer. I actually replaced all of the lights with LED bulbs, but I saved the old ones because why not, just in case. I've replaced the original TV switch and cable switch with a little bit better one with a booster in it, but this one still works just in case that fancy electric one craps out. Poof, two screws and I'm back in business. Silicone caulk, just in case. I've used this to just do little tiny things. This does not go on the roof. The Eternabond and the Dicor does. This is for other things, maybe caulking a leak around a sink or uh, some leaks in the awnings or something like that. Another screwdriver, bigger screwdriver. Duct tape, Gorilla Tape, can't have enough. The back side of those factory outlets that you have, just in case you have one of those that fails. This is a shutoff valve for the shower. My Oxygenix head, the push button failed on the head itself, it cracked. So I just picked up a couple of these little things at the Home Depot or whatever the box store was, and I'm using that. <clears throat> but I figured they were so cheap and they're just plastic, so I bought two of them just in case. If that one ever fails, I got a spare. Tire plug kit. Nice to have. Tape measure. Wonder where that was. <laughs> Outer piece of one of those outlets just in case that cracks, because they do occasionally. A few more screwdrivers, a couple of picks, directions for my equalizer. Another big socket because the lug nuts on the the lug nut holding the spare on is a different size than the lug nuts holding the wheels on. I found that out the hard way. So that's the end of the toolbox. And we've got a three quarter inch wrench because this is what I need to do uh, on my when I'm carrying the box on the my, my tailgate or my tailbox on the back of this thing on my hitch. That takes off the hitch clamp. Then I also picked up one of these at the Cheapo Tool Store, and this is an impact driver and a bit set. This is handy for doing all sorts of stuff. You may have seen me use this or something similar to it in some of my videos. It's really good for taking the covers off of the air conditioners on the outside because those big Phillips head screws are tight sometimes. Really handy for that. Now I've got a couple of more things down here. I actually have a couple of spare parts for the outlets and actually a full outlet in its entirety just in case because these things they're cheesy to begin with and they tend to get broken when they put them in. A couple of other spare outlets because they tighten, they over tighten the screws that hold them on. <coughs> And that is pretty much everything that I have and that I've needed to this point in my toolkit for my RV. Your mileage may vary, but this is what I've accumulated and it pretty much gives me just about everything that I've needed at this point to make little tweaks here and there and keep this baby going now that it's obviously out of warranty and I'm on the road a lot. So, take care.